His former player Kawhi Leonard was in town as the Clippers faced the Suns. And even though he's on the opposing team, his former coach still had Kawhi's back. Popovich grabbed the announcer's microphone with Leonard at the line for the first of his two free throws and asked the fans to stop booing. Take a listen. Excuse me for a second. Can we stop all the booing and let these guys play? It's got no class. It's not who we are. Not about the booing. S.A., was Pop right to address the fans there? No, he was not. And that's tough for me to say because Greg Popovich is a five-time champion, one of the greatest coaches in the history of basketball. And no matter how truculent he comes across in front of the cameras, he's a good man. And people who know him love him. Um, and he obviously is very protective of players, present, both present and former. I can appreciate that. But there's a couple of things that need to be pointed out, Wendy, that I think is incredibly important, even on this Thanksgiving morning. Number one, when he talks about class, and we're better than that, respectfully, Coach Greg Popovich, does that apply to you in terms of how you treat the media? You ever see him do an interview? During Thank games? you. Is, the, is Thank that you. class? That's not class. There's nothing <clears throat> classy you. about that kind of behavior. Um, let's get that out the way. It's very, very important to point that out. Greg Popovich hasn't been classy. Matter of fact, if he hasn't been downright truculent or acerbic, I don't know what else to say about it. That's number one. Number two, the paying customer has a right to boo somebody. Now, if he was saying that in, 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 in support of one of his players in San Antonio, wearing a San Antonio Spurs uniform, it would have more basis. It would have more credibility to that argument. But the city of San Antonio watched Kawhi Leonard push himself out of the city, out of the organization. Um, what's wrong with them booing him? They're not throwing anything at him. They didn't call him out his name. But should they, they have any gratitude for Kawhi in his time? It in doesn't San matter. The, the fans get to make that choice. The point that I'm trying to make to you is that if they don't like the fact that you left, that you're no longer wearing a uniform, Spurs uniform, you are the enemy. Hostile confines on the road is part of sports. And if they're booing Kawhi Leonard, okay, then that's their right. And Popovich said at the end in the press conference post game, he said, you know, you don't, what was it? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't poke the bear. Well, you don't poke the bear. I, yeah, I understand that point. In other words, Kawhi Leonard is so great, he's going to eat us up. But that's not what he went to the microphone and said. He said, show some class. We're better than that, et cetera, et cetera. Well, damn it, you're not supposed to be if you're the fan base supporting the home team, and that's the visitor. If it's the visitor, you want to be, is you don't want to be, you don't want to cross lines, obviously, but booing them, that's a part of it. And for Greg Popovich to grab the microphone and to and to try to, you know, just just, you know, go off on the fans in his own way. I thought was off kilter and out of pocket. They're the paying customer. They're the reasons Greg Popovich gets paid what he gets paid. It's the reason the players get paid what they get paid. It's the reason the organization makes the money that it makes. And more importantly than anything else is the absence of consistency from Greg Popovich. When Greg Popovich talks about class in terms of how I believe he's a classy individual, I believe he is a good man. He certainly has always, always been decent and respectful to me. I love Greg Popovich, even though I haven't really spoken to him in recent memory. I respect him, and his resume speaks for itself. But this man is very, very, very off-putting and downright disrespectful at times to folks in the media on camera. You don't get to then grab the microphone and talk to people about class when you do that. I'm sorry. Wendy, where are you on this? Okay, so Greg Popovich doesn't need to hear all the accolades from me. <clears throat> we know what he's accomplished. I have traveled the world with Greg Popovich, covering Team USA. I have seen Greg Popovich in private moments. He is a wonderful man. I have watched him in restaurants walk through the room and hand money to everybody who works at the restaurant. I have seen him be wonderful to people behind the scenes when, when nobody's around. I've seen him be wonderful to people in front of the scenes. I can go on and on with this. One of the most brilliant coaching moves I've seen in the last decade happened during the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo where the Americans were going down to the Australians in a game the Australians have been preparing for for a decade. And Popovich, in one of the most gutsy moves I can remember, 
pulls out a tri triangle in two that knocks the Australians back. Kevin Durant gets a couple of shots. It was an absolutely brilliant coaching move that should be remembered. You know, Team USA is just assumed to always win, but it was, it was an absolutely brilliant coaching move that saved the Americans winning the gold medal. I don't need to keep going on about this. He's remarkable. He is also at times condescending. And this came out last night. And what in this moment will not define his career. It may not even define his week. But he can be condescending. All the things that he can do, he can be condescending. That was extremely condescending. It felt like you were back at recess at lunch or in your, in your you know, eating lunch and the teacher came on and said, you're being too loud. And the fans, to their credit, thought it was BS and they booed louder. Because even as much as they love Popovich, they knew he was out of line there. And a lot of times his condescension does play itself out with the media. Um, the media, if he doesn't want to treat us in a certain way, that's fine. He has treated me wonderfully. He's never been really condescending to me, but obviously it's happened. He was condescending in this moment. He knows he was condescending in this moment. And the Spurs are the worst team in the NBA. They've lost 10 in a row. Maybe that has something to do with it, but that was... He was out of line in this moment, and I think he wakes up this morning knowing that, and I expect him to say something about it, or I hope he does at least.